sad. I guess. My poor little tadpoles, they didn't get a chance to grow up. All right, it's running. Here's Jake Phelps, he's cute. Is it focus and stuff? Yeah. All right, Jake Phelps here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how it is that you fix a chain hoist that will not reverse. Like, basically, what I mean by that is, is that you can pull the, um, pull the lever and it'll lift something up, but it will not, once you flip the little switch, go in the other direction. So, basically, you'd be stuck with something up in the air, you couldn't get down without, like, a I don't know, it would be like a horrible thing that would happen. So I'm sure when somebody picks up an old chain hoist, the first thing they do, you know, they check it to make sure everything works like I did. And I noticed that my chain hoist did not work at all. I was going to hoist, it's a 1.5 ton chain hoist. I was going to hoist the boat up instead of doing my other way of lifting the boat up and just mess with the trailer and, you know, whatever. And, you know, it didn't work. And then I looked around a little bit, and one guy, you know, he's all like, oh, you got to take the whole thing apart and, like, take two hours and, like, clean the calibers on the Britain. Like, oh, I was like, oh, my, you've got to be joking. Because, like, the way I generally have found to fix stuff, which, you know, it might not be the, um, the right way, but it is fast, and it does work, and it gets the job done. And, you know, generally a hammer and some WD-40. So I'll show you exactly what you do here. So here's the hoist, and as you can see, you know, I used it and everything, but it was stuck. It wouldn't go in reverse. All it would do is lift up. So right now it's lifting up. What it would not do is go down, which as you can see, it is working. And the way I made it so it would go down is I took it and I set it like it's supposed to be when it goes down. And I put it in a vise. Tighten the vise up. Nice and tight. And then sprayed it with a whole bunch of WD-40. And after I sprayed it with WD-40, you know, I went ahead and did it this way a little bit. Sprayed it. Did this way a little bit. This is the way it did work. And then let it sit for a little while. And then I came back. And this is the direction it would not go. It would just like, it would, it would try to spin. It just wouldn't go. It wouldn't do that click thing right there. It wouldn't do that, basically, that it does now. So the way I fix that is, I set it like that. After I put the WD-40 PB Blast or whatever, really saturated the whole thing. And now I just bang the heck out of it with a, um, with a sledgehammer. And, you know, lo and behold, it worked. So, like, basically what happens is, it kind of works like uh, brake pads on your car. It's kind of like the same basic material you know it's one of the key components in, in these things and it's it's really you know it's really important that um that you keep them oiled and stuff so they don't freeze up like this one did you know it sat up um it sat over in that corner right there for years you know and i just pulled it down because like i said today i was going to use it and everything will just rust and it, it's just impossible it's impossible to, to break free. So, you know, I just did like I just said. And after I sprayed it and everything, hit it with a sledgehammer and boom, it, um, it fixed it. There are also a lot of chain hoists that do not have all these fancy mechanisms and what have you. So what I would suggest with something, something like that is to... Take like a come along or something and attach it to something and because you know I just kind of thought about it and I was like well huh because it obviously 
the way that you're trying to fix it is going to be, you know, or just put weight on it, you know, hang it and put weight on it, but that's kind of a pain in the butt, but you need to come along and just get it taut, but, you know, don't hurt yourself. And after you spray it, just keep tightening the come along until it does, you know, whatever it's supposed to do. You know, I don't have one of those ones without all this stuff on it. I don't know exactly how they work, but just kind of milling over my head. That's kind of the, the thing I thought of as to how I would fix that problem. Because the, you know, the one video I saw that didn't help me at all, the dude took it apart and cleaned it for whatever, two hours. And like, um, like I, I can't imagine taking it. It would take a long time to take this thing apart and put it back together. Because first off, I don't do it every day. And second off, that's not stuff that's easy to take apart and put back together. So why do all that if you don't have to? So anyway, um, you know, it ended up, I need better straps and stuff to get this boat up. Like it would have worked with what I had, but I was just like, you know, I just didn't feel like, I didn't feel like messing anything up. So I let that alone. Um, I got a brand new four stroke um, engine coming um, for crabbing videos. So they'll be coming, more of those will be coming soon. And um, got a really you know I got a lot of amazing stuff um, amazing stuff in the future for um, Jake Phelps Maryland crabbing and of course at Sandy S's so um, thank you for watching and and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe